Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy Bryce here. It is currently 1240 in the morning. Uh, the time I'm recording this video, I definitely need to get my butt in bed. <laughs> but I wanted to do a video real quick, talk about the Miami Heat versus Boston Celtics game last night. Uh, I, it's honestly uh, Saturday. Well, actually, it's currently Saturday, I should say, over here in South Florida. Uh, the Miami Heat versus Boston Celtics game was yesterday, uh, Friday night, 7.30 p.m. tip-off. That game was televised on ESPN. Um, and the Heat fall to 111 to 119, uh, eight-point loss. And uh, I got some stats here for y'all. I am on the desktop right now. Pretty sure y'all can hear that. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick, uh, give you guys and gals my overall thoughts, and that will be it. So Duncan Robinson, Played 24 minutes, he was 3-7 on field goals, 3-6 on three-pointers, one rebound, had nine points. Jimmy Butler, 34 minutes, 3-11 on field goals, zero three-pointers, five rebounds, three assists, 14 points. Uh, did get see Jamal Kane in the game, only played four minutes, 0-1 uh, on field goals, 0-1 on three-pointers, one, and one rebound. Jimmy Jacquez Jr. played 14 minutes, 0-2 on field goals, 0-1 on three-pointers, two rebounds, two assists. He could have gone on the board. Uh, he was going for a dunk and ended up getting blocked. Probably could have gone for a layup or something like that to vent, you know, the block. But, you know, he's a rookie. He'll learn. He'll get better. Uh, I like what I've seen from him so far. But, you know, uh, Kyle Lowry definitely had a better game than what he did against uh, the Pistons last Wednesday. Played 32 minutes, five or seven off field goals, three or four rebounds, five assists, 13 points. I know like it's not eye popping stats, but you know, uh, if you go back and watch the uh, highlights, you, def you can definitely tell that his, uh, his presence was felt in this game. Uh, Thomas Bryant, 13 minutes, one of five off field goals, 0-1 on three pointers, four rebounds, one assist, two points. Kevin Love, 21 minutes, three seven off field goals, Two of four on three pointers, nine rebounds, two assists, and nine points. Tyler Hero, 40 minutes, 10 of 20 on field goals, five of 12 on three pointers, six rebounds, six assists, 28 points. Bam out of bio, 35 minutes, 10 of 23 for field goals, 0 and three on three pointers, seven rebounds, two assists, 27 points. Drew Smith, 23 minutes, three of six on field goals. 3-4 on 3-pointers, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, and 9 points. So, the amount of bio, Tyler Hero combined for about 55 points. Uh, unfortunately, he could not get the win, uh, but definitely impressed with uh, Tyler Hero. Definitely had a much better game uh, last night than against the Pistons. Man, amount of bio, still doing his thing. Uh, saw some flashes from Drew Smith, you know, on the defensive end, you know, I'm not, I'm still not 100% sold on Drew Smith, you know, uh, no disrespect to him, but you know, just not 100% sold. Kyle Lowry had a better game against, against the Celtics than he did against the Pistons. Jimmy Butler, you know, to be honest with y'all, I, I personally would have liked to have seen him, you know, be the Jimmy Butler that you know that we need in the fourth quarter uh, that happened but that's probably because you know Bam out of bio and Tyler Hero getting most of the work done but you know Jimmy Butler is the leader of this team you know and I don't know I guess it's just me being selfish I guess but you know it is what it is um some game stats for y'all like I said the Heat scored 111 Celtics 119 Rebounds for the Heat, 45. Celtics, 54. Assists, 24 for the Heat, 19 for the Celtics. Eight steals for the Heat, seven steals for the Celtics. And both the Heat and the Celtics, six blocks. Turnovers, that was one of the stories in the game is that the Celtics turned it over 15 times and we uh, I don't know how many points we got off of turnovers, but I know we got quite a bit. Uh, the Heat turned it over 12 times. Field goal percentage for the Heat, 42.7%. For the Celtics, 47.4%. For the Heat on uh, free throws, 82.6%. For the Heat and the Celtics, 68.4%. Three-point percentage for the Heat, 471 
and for the Celtics, 41.8%. Individual stats for the Celtics, uh, Derek White, 36 minutes, 9 of 15, 5 of 7 on three-pointers, six rebounds, three assists, 28 points. Uh, Porningis, 30 minutes, 6 6 to 12 on field goal, 2 to 6 on three pointers, 9 rebounds, 1 assist, 17 points. Jalen Brown, 34 minutes, 11 to 22 on field goal, 3 to 7 on three pointers, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, 27 points. Uh, Drew Holiday, 36 minutes, 7 to 13 on field goals, 1 to 4 on three pointers. 10 rebounds, 7 assists, 17 points. Jason Tatum, 41 minutes, 9 and 22 on three goals, 3 10 on three pointers. 8 rebounds, excuse me, uh, 5 assists, 22 points. Uh, we did get to see Al Horford in this game. He played 25 minutes. He was 0 and 6 on field goals, 0 and 2 on three pointers. He had 10 rebounds, though. Uh, other than his 10 rebounds, he didn't really score the ball, uh, he had, and he had two assists. Um, your game leaders, Tyler Hero, 28 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. Uh, Derek White, 28 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Your rebound leaders, Kevin Love, 9 points, 9 rebounds. Drew Holiday, 17 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. Assist leaders, Tyler Hero, 28 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. Drew Holiday, 17 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. That is your game leaders. Anyways, guys, um, my overall thoughts on this game. You know, he could have probably won this game. Uh, terrible call at the end, towards the end of the game. You know, uh, could have been the Heat's ball, which honestly I felt like it it really should have been the Heat's ball, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, personally, I'm not the type of person that wants to leave the game in the ref's hands or official or official, because you know, um, should never be in that position to begin with, whether you're winning or losing. Overall, they went out of bio, Tyler Hero definitely had a good, actually, I shouldn't say good game. They had both really great games, actually. So, eh. Good, great, whatever you want to call it. I think they both had, both did a good job. Now Kyle Lowry, definitely a better game than what he had against the Pistons. Uh, Jimmy Butler, you know, to be honest with you, it doesn't shock me from what I saw from Jimmy Butler uh, yesterday. But, you know, again, definitely would have liked to see Jimmy Butler, you know, uh, be the Jimmy Butler in the fourth quarter like we have seen before uh, from last year and previous years before that. Then Drew Smith had some flashes here and there, but you know, not sold on him just yet. Uh, anything else that I'm forgetting? Um, I think that's about it, guys. Um, I apologize. You know, uh, there's not really a whole lot of energy in this video. I ain't gonna lie to you all. It's, I'm looking at the clock right now. It's about almost 12.50, so almost one in the morning. I am tired. I am ready to get some sleep. I need to get some sleep because I, I got a busy day tomorrow. I've got to be at the game for the Canes tomorrow against Virginia. Uh, like I said, there'll be a video coming out later on today for that. Uh, I plan on doing so Canes basketball as well. So stay tuned for that. But uh, thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. You're not hurting my feelings. Any constructive criticism is welcome down in the comment section below. Let me know your guys and gals thoughts on what you thought of the game for the Miami Heat versus Boston Celtics game. Do you agree with that call? Do you disagree? Um, do you agree, you know, with Spo taking Tyler here out of the game when he gets hot? I mean, I personally don't. And that's one of the things I also forgot to mention. Uh, I don't like that Spo that takes Tyler here out of the game and lets him sit on the bench when he's hot. And then when he comes back out, he gets, he's cold. So uh, that's something that's a little frustrating. I ain't gonna lie. But again, it doesn't change the outcome of this game. Uh, your final score, the Miami Heat 111, the Boston Celtics 119. The Heat fall to 1-1 one one on the year. The Boston Celtics proved 2-0. The Miami Heat play the Minnesota Timberwolves later on tonight. That's going to be an 8 p.m. tip-off. That'll 
definitely be on Bali Sports. I also believe on the NBA app and NBA TV. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, thumbs up, thumbs down if you, if you did or if you didn't like the video. Hit the bell for notification and hit the subscribe button for future content coming from yours truly. Let me know your guys and gals thoughts down below in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace.